Hey, you're at Car Cave in Aiken, South Carolina. It's been a little while since we did an inventory video. Uh, okay, a while, like a week. But we'll do a quick walk around here. We'll start, uh, we're gonna start with starting it up. Let me put the hood down and get you a walk around. But we have a 98 Toyota FZJ75. So, engine's cold. As you know, she purrs. We did put a new carburetor on it. Um, gave it a tune-up. Fuel filter. Um, spark plugs. So that 24 valve, we did the battery tray. Uh, we used a metal one, they're made out of plastic. So they bounce around and break. We try to get something a little bit classy to fit in there well to go back in its original space. We use original brackets and a CNC aluminum crossbar. But she purrs like a kitten. Um, nice solid car. We'll uh, shut it off. So in the pictures, if you saw the lanyard, um, our photographer didn't notice how it looked like a ball of wire. So if you notice that, in the pictures just excuse it um, the other thing is we ordered two new visors we've only gotten the passenger side one so we have a new driver side one coming um, and a new lo lower radiator hose so it's in the works um, besides that the rest of maintenance is tidied up it drives well um, has some has some sand tires on it they're split rim they're kind of cool but yeah uh, Sorry, a little tired. Started early this morning. Went over the road, did a run to pick up a car in Charleston and left last night and still working. So bear with me here. We'll get through it. Um, it's a 98 Toyota Land Cruiser FZJ75. It has the 1FZF, which is the carbureted version of the 24 valve. We sourced it from Amon and recent respray repaint our guy that does our paint correction came in and he you know he did a cut compound polish and he said you know high quality paint job we've looked over it um you would not show quality that you're gonna sit there win the concourse but at the same point a toyota truck very very well done new graphics um, we went through did maintenance on it it did have the chrome inserts here with the lights and we removed it. We kind of liked it better, but it does go with the sale. Uh, so, you know, went through fluids. Um, I have the full maintenance write up on our website. But we'll uh, let you look at the engine bay underneath the hood. You have your tag here. Oman's known for dry climate. It's in the Middle East and the desert. matches it's right there so we're real happy with this car when we got it we buy so many cars from overseas um, it's always different seeing them in person no matter what car when you're buying remotely so if you're buying from us call me I will tell you everything I know um, I'll give you all the info I know the bad the good the ugly um, you know, you can read my reviews also. I have people that didn't buy from us that were happy that we're transparent. But I put it up for sale 24 hours ago and I've had three offers already before I could even shoot the video, before I had to leave last night um, to run down to Charleston. Bed's clean, um, you know, full size spare. The headache rack, which is a pseudo roll bar. I wouldn't call it a roll bar, more to the headache rack side. It might save you a little bit the bed tie down so what's cool is seeing the look on some of the people's faces when they've come in here um and and saw it. like we had one guy from columbia that said he grew up with one of these and he'd stack it with coffee beans and he remembered his little kid of how much weight they put in the back you have a mass amount of leaf springs you have a rear pintle hitch um, you have the tubular rear bumper if you see the pintle hitch there um, it's repainted in a beige you do have power mirrors that work, power windows that work. 
we did tear down the wiper system because in the Middle East, you don't use your wipers a lot and it was a little gritty with sand. And since it didn't move much, we actually disassembled the whole thing, tore it apart, lubricated it, um, you know, got it all, all moving again. You could, you know, when it first showed up, it would move barely just a little bit with some assistance. So rebuilt all that. Um, you know, there wasn't really parts cost in there when you look at a parts list, but it took some time. Uh, you do have dual fuel tanks and we drained all the fuel out of it and ran both tanks. So you see the front and the rear. So you have pretty good range out of it. AC blows cold. We did, they actually had, because it came from the desert, um, the AC compressor was constant gauge, so we wired in a switch. It's in the dash. There's a blue switch you could see. But all in all, a really clean truck. If I could buy 10 of these, I would. So there's your sub fuel tank. <clears throat> your AC controls, which I just noticed we were missing a knob here. So I do have one on the shelf. I'll put that in there. The original Toyota tape deck. Um, you have an idle control that's right here. So if you want to throttle it up, I guess it's more of a throttle control. If you want to throttle up, say you're running an accessory, you're running a winch, you need your alternator run up further. Um, it does have your normal GCC spec bracket for your fire extinguisher. So when you see those, it's interesting that they have to come with, as far as I know, they have to come with a fire extinguisher. It's all the GCC spec stuff we get. And I'll ask my buddies over there to clarify. Um, it does have a fold down windshield. So you can see over here, the little brackets, these unbolt. So on our KZJ73s, which there's one back here in the corner with an FRP top. Uh, when you take the top off and if it has the fold down windshield, you can see the thumb screws. This is learning something today. There's a thumb screw here. On the wiper you undo the thumb screw so your wipers will fold forward so when you break the windshield down now i'm sure the top has never been off this thing because once you break that seal but the seals are probably available i'm not going to testify to that to congress or anything but i'm sure if you were to fold the windshield down by undoing the bolt there's bolts here um, some some underneath that you can get the roof off and then you can fold it down i'm sure this back cab section here there's a couple behind. So we've lifted them off the 73s. We've never done a truck yet, but it'd be super cool. If you remember the old uh, Dodge Dakotas with the Cabrio that they made in the 90s. Um, yeah, really, really neat trucks. So we also did the master power window switch on the driver's side. That was part of the maintenance we did. So the windows weren't working and we got them fired off. back up a little so you can see it uh, the tires they were I believe a Dunlop Grand Trek sand tire um, strangely enough it was it was oddball size like a 235.95 if I remember correctly where are we there you go so you don't see that it's not too common uh, being dry climate you know the chassis is clean there's no complaints under there. it is a split rim so we did have, not a lot of shops want to touch those. We we're kind of joking about, but there's one in town that does all the tractors and heavy equipment. So we did have the tires balanced. <clears throat> Excuse me, and did an alignment on it. So I said, new panel here, new window switch. We didn't remove these. I'm not sure why the previous owner left the maintenance stickers on there. You do have tilt wheel. Here you have your power mirrors, you have for air filter. Uh, it does have a rubber mat in it. There's two bucket seats, not a 60-40 split bench. You have a rear window that's sliding. Let's see, um, we've never figured out what this does. The switch rock does not rock anymore. So it's not controlled anything, not tied in anything. Um, it was there, it's, it looks like a aftermarket switch that somebody put in do have an ashtray we got the ac blowing cold so i think that's about it on this truck windshield's clean i don't see any chips marks or anything on there your 
smoker's window here to keep your AC going. Smoke your Seggy if you want. Has a little side step here. But yeah, that's a good, uh, good overview. If you want some undercarriage pictures, let me know. We'll get it up on the rack. We'll take some video if you want. But yeah, it's uh, Chris. It's at Car Cave, www.carcaveusa.com. 803-262-4742. We do a lot of Land Cruisers, a lot of Defenders. So if you're in the market, we always have new stuff coming in. Always try and find something cool, something fun to drive. But there you go. Give us a call if you're interested. Let me know. I have somebody already coming tomorrow morning um, to do a test drive. So, If you're interested, I guess let me know quick.